Hey guys, it's Vito Vengeance and today we have a T57 heavy video and this is Sergio again, he sent uh, another replay in his T57 heavy because apparently he is a pretty good T57 heavy driver I'm also headed to this tank, I'm grinding my way up, I also got it I almost got it to the T71 and I can't wait to have this beast so he's on Severgorsk and it's a pretty good matchmaker only 4 tier 10 tanks per team and he's in a platoon with 4 sage in his T124 he also met another clan member from Solar delete you all, he's in the enemy team, Fallen Angel also was in Solar so it's platoon 1 versus platoon 1, well not really, it's, there are 15 there are teams of 15, but as, as you're going to see they are the guys that are going to do the most in their teams so Sergio took his forward position here to put some early damage one shot bounces from the ice free. Ice free pops out again and pays the price. And the 95 damage. And there is the the T57's heavy first drum. However, there is one drawback that the T57 heavy has that I haven't heard about people talking and that is that you can run out of ammunition well not quickly if you have a monster game then you're going to run out of ammunition so this tank has its limitations like the FV215 V183 British tier 10 tank destroyer so the scores are 1-1 one, one at the moment He did some damage but no kill yet This is his first kill He gets hit in the back by the T54 Sorry for that it was my dog that decided to bark in the middle of my video It's a she by the way Called Tasha Cocker Spaniel, but this video is not about dogs, this video is about tanks. So, Sergio made his first kill. He's waiting for this T30 to shoot. He gets the position where he can get the places. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the kill. One shell left into the ground. He's going to for the T34 and wow, I'm sorry, he hit the gun mantle, which is pretty unfortunate. And today is my finals day, and yes, instead of doing the last learning, I'm doing a World of Tanks video, but in my defense, I do know pretty well. So very low roll into that T32 and I think that this shot that he took here into T32 well could have been game changing but we're going to see about that so the T32 has 320 average damage bear that in mind so He's on two kills. The scores are 9-7, but what you're going to see right now is how quickly a third of the team is going to die. I'll put it on double speed. So it's 9-7. And now I manage to kill one enemy. And this is when it begins. So two allies already down. 
three down. So three allies, four allies died in a very short amount of time. Which means that it's carry time. So it's 11-12, they were in advantage but they are losing one tank. And there are two tier 10 tanks and one tier 9 tank against two tier 10 tanks and two tier 9. So it could have been worse at least. It's not three or four tier 10 tanks in the enemy team. And they know that the enemies are somewhere west and they are waiting for them to make a move. So this, and this is a moment where you are going to see why I don't like that encased zoom in mod that helps you zoom out a lot and zoom in a lot. The zoom out a lot is useful because you can see how where the enemy tanks point the turrets and so on but the a lot of zoom in I don't really like it that much you're going to see why right now so there is an object 140 coming this can see because of the very big zoom it doesn't help you know, he can't shoot as well thanks on the move and also when you zoom in a lot it the the reticle seems to be very big so it's like the gun hasn't aimed even though the gun has aimed this is something I also don't like about this so Sergei is on his last drum of armor piercing shells he also says it in the chat and something very bad is happening right now as you can see the trim that his team is spread out and being spread out is when you're outnumbered is never a good idea because the first thing you need to do is try for example if the enemy have four tanks and you are three you have to make it E50 sorry not E50 he gets hit in the back by DT124 and he's left he's now basically a one shot kill for anybody so the thing is that for example if it's a 3 versus 4 if you group up for example you can make it from a situation of 3 versus 4 a 3 versus 2 two times like you kill two tanks and then you kill the last two tanks and so you have a very a lot higher a higher chance of winning Unfortunately, as you can see, his team is spread out, so it's not pretty good. And the team that the 57 Heavy has in one round 1600 potential damage, it's 400 times 4. And as you can see, he had a couple of low, low rolls, and there is a Waffen Trigger of Panzer 4 that has exactly 1600 damage. left him on 50 health fortunately for siege managed to kill him but for siege is surrounded and he's dead so it's Sergio against an object 140 which is a three shot kill and a T124 he might the T124 we don't really know on how much health he is and he really needs right now to finish him off in one drum. He was shot by the T124 somewhere there. When he was at the corner, he shot the T124 shot him in the back, which probably means that he's somewhere around in the north. So, so just thinking where to go, what to plan ahead to be able to out, out think those guys because it's 2 versus 1 and he really needs to make it 2 one on ones but even if he makes them one on ones he is a one shot kill for anybody which is pretty bad 
So where is this 224? As you can see, he is pretty close to the truck because in case, in fact, if he finds the T124 here, he can just fight him around this rock and he has the mobility advantage. So there is a T124. The T124 shoots the rock, which is a fatal mistake by him. Let's shot Angel and T124 is dead. So he's alone against an object 140. He does an oh shit guess who's in his back. Surprise but sex. And he's really dead right now and this is where I need to close this video. Because the object 140 is in his back, ju he just bounced him. If Sergio manages to reload, he can kill that guy. Because he has 3 shells and those 3 shells have potential damage of 1200. Remember that T32 that has 320 average damage? Well, the object 140 has the exact exact average damage and if that he hadn't rolled so low on that, on that T32 and he wasn't shot at by him in the side, the object 140 would need 2 shots to kill him instead of 1. So he comes around Another shot bounces, and right now Sergio is reloaded. So, let's see, can he kill him? One shot, and he's dead. And right there, if that T32 hadn't shot him, the object 130 couldn't have killed him in one shot, and he could have been able to empty the drum and maybe kill him. Because he had two shells remaining, and the object 140 had. 120 health so it the game was all about <laughs> that one shell that couldn't kill a d32 on 370 health so I don't really have the post game results available however I can tell you that he did because I noted on the paper he did 8838 damage and 4 kills it was a very unfortunate loss in the American tier 10 heavy tank T57 heavy so I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it if you have a cool replay send it to me because I'm happy to look over replays sent by you guys and have an absolutely awesome day